Greetings and salutations. So if you've clicked on this video, there's probably a bad habit or thing that you know you're constantly doing and you've been trying to reduce it or do it in moderation, but you'll probably find that doing trying to reduce it, trying to do it in moderation is a lot harder than you thought it would be. Maybe it's you know spending too much time on video games, scrolling on social media for hours and hours eating too much junk food so you've probably been in a situation where you're trying to cut it down cut your consumption time down or your you know junk food sugar intake but you find that no matter how like much you try to reduce it there's just something about it that you know you just keep over indulging in that habit or thing that you know you keep doing you know staying on the video game for four hours longer than you said that you were going to because you know it's getting good you know you're leveling up so you just keep going like you've got time so why not or you know you say you're going to stop scrolling on social media on TikTok after half an hour but you know when you're just your for you page is just so relatable so you just keep scrolling like it's just been hitting everything you've been seeing on your for you page is just like so funny or entertaining so you look away from the time for one second and then three hours has gone past and the problem with trying to do all of these kind of things in moderation is that they're literally made to be addictive like social media junk food all of these kind of things have literally been designed if you will to keep you consuming them sugar and junk food is an addictive substance your chocolates and the sweets it keeps you coming back so no matter how much you try to do it in moderation you might walk past the aisle of you know where all the sweets and treats are and you know your snack catches your eye just like why not or you know these social media companies like you know on tiktok on youtube the problem with these kind of things is they tailor what you see to your personality to who you are which is what keeps you staying on these things for so long you know on your youtube recommended it's going to be things that you're interested in like so whenever you feel like getting off youtube you just see at the corner of your eye another video that piques your interest so you stay on it for another half an hour one hour and all of a sudden you've kind of wasted a lot of time that could have been spent more productively if you've had TikTok before you'll know like the amount of times you know you're scrolling and you just see something that literally you were probably thinking about that day or the day before that it's just so relatable and then you're checking the comments um, trying to see what everyone else is saying so and then just to relate with other people and yeah it can just be very very time consuming these kind of things they're literally it's literally addictive on purpose which is why you found it so difficult to do them in moderation like you'll never hear of a smoker who smokes in moderation because it's got an addictive substance you know cigarettes nicotine so it's either someone's a smoker or they've quit smoking or they're just not a smoker then you won't hear of anyone saying oh i'm an occasional smoker for social media you might want to try you know just deleting all of your social media apps one thing you'll find is that you've got a lot more time on your hands when you do realize you know you have more time on your hands it's so easy to you know just go back to it and download all the apps again the only way that this is only actually going to be beneficial for you is if you find alternatives other things in the day to keep you occupied because then you won't even be thinking about social media so you know spending time with your friends actually going out and experiencing life meeting people or finding other hobbies and other interests that can take up the time you spend on social media trying a new sport getting into arts and crafts just doing something that is actually going to be beneficial for you know your mental health or your physical health and getting rid of that you know social media addiction that you have the same also applies to junk food when you you know stop eating it you'll find that you might crave it even more and then that's why so many people they try cutting it out and then they end up overeating even more than they previously did the same kind of principle applies for when you delete social media you need to find alternatives find other things to do so with junk food is finding other healthier alternatives snacks that you really enjoy you find really tasty that you know are less calories more nutrients in them you know snack bars protein bars um even vitamin gummies and sweets i have them sometimes and i found that they've really helped me with my 
because I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. So they really helped me, you know, not think about junk food really. Again, the same also applies for, you know, video games. Just find alternatives that you can fill up your time with. And this might sound like a really extreme, this might sound like really extreme advice, you know, to just cut it out completely. But if you really want to get rid of, you know, the, not necessarily addiction, but, you know, overindulging in these things and you aren't happy with that, you know, you really want to kind of stop it or reduce it, but whenever you try to, it never works. This is probably the best piece of advice you're gonna get. Cut all of these things out, but don't just cut it out and do nothing because you end up going back to these things. You have to find alternatives that kind of fill in that void and make you realize you don't even need the social media, you need the junk food, the video games. And I have nothing against these things, I'm not saying you shouldn't eat junk food, I'm not saying you shouldn't play video games, but if you are really struggling with doing them in moderation, then just try cutting it out for a bit, you know, one week, two weeks, 30 days, and just see how it feels, see if there's been any progress or any benefits to you doing such, and go from there. You will probably find that you don't actually need these things as much as you thought, and yeah really that you're just better off without them so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace